it's important that we support the nurses so when they take care of my parents, your parents, or whoever, my grandparents, your grandparents, that they are working with nurses who are not burnt out, um, who are able to provide adequate care for them. My name is Chris Coffin. I'm David Coppins. My name is Ait Na. My name is Prince Na. I am the Chief of Business Development for IntelliCare, and I'm a co-founder of the company as well. I'm the co-founder of IntelliCare and the Chief Executive Officer. I'm a co-founder and Chief Nursing Officer of IntelliCare. And I'm one of the co-founders of IntelliCare. Um, I'm the CTO here. A few months before my mother passed, um, she was living in a nursing home. And I went to visit her, and when I did, the, the staff there was remarkable. Uh, they were so amazing, patient, uh, caring, and really dedicated to what they did. And even when my mother was getting pretty grouchy in her last few months, they were remarkably patient with her, really understood where she, what her position was. But I could also tell that they were short-staffed and overworked. The long-term care sector is a sector that is significantly overlooked. Um, I think a lot of people focused on the acute space but never really think about the long-term care side of it. I was a nurse working at a long-term acute care facility and me and my nurses were being burnt out by the amount of patients that we had to take on and also the amount of double shifts that we were forced to stay for. I grew up with my mom being a CNA first and then a nurse. Um, and being a nurse we saw the pain that she went through as she worked multiple shifts, sometimes she was mandated to stay at work. She went to work at snowstorms, holidays, all those things were something where I experienced as a young teenager growing up. Um, and so I understood the space really well. And so when these friends of mine came to me with this idea uh, for IntelliCare, I got pretty excited about it. We had actually an opportunity to uh, really support the people that are working in this industry provide the staff that they needed when they needed it. So when I reached out to my brother and we talked about just how we could solve the problems of one, the stress of and the impact of um, the demand on the nursing side, we knew there was an opportunity to have technology help alleviate some of the issues that we knew our mom had. And then really the second is really ability to give nurses the flexibility they really need. I met Ike at the hospital that I was working at we both were trying to figure out how to solve the nurse staffing crisis that was happening. So we put our minds together and we started coming up with this technology that eventually became IntelliCare. I got pretty excited about it. We really could actually help support them because they were frequently short-staffed, they were um, overworked, and you could see that some of them were even getting to burnout, which is obviously not what they wanted when they really dedicated their career to this. They care for the patients just as much, but there's not enough opportunities for them to advance their careers sometimes, or for them to even have the necessary training to care for those patients in those space. So we had the opportunity to change that. We had the opportunity to really help uh, all these people that had committed themselves to, uh, to caring for these people. And so that's why I joined IntelliCare. We believe that no nurse should be short-staffed or forced to stay for mandatory overtime. We also believe that no patient in healthcare facilities should be putting their patients at risk. The people that um, have really dedicated their lives to working in long-term care, I think they're angels, honestly. I can't, I can't imagine a harder job, but a more important job uh, to be done. And so I'm excited that we can give back to them because for IntelliCare, they mean a lot to us.